Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make a very quick unboxing and review for this Wi-Fi extender slash Wi-Fi repeater. I found it to be really useful and today I'm going to show you what you can do with this and how to set it up and how useful it can be. So I've been using this for a few days now but I put it back in the box just to give you some kind of an unboxing experience. Um, this is called the AC 1200 megabytes dual band wireless repeater and it has two Ethernet um, outlets or ports here. We're going to go through all this. Um, this supports 2.5, uh, 2.4 gigahertz as long, along with 5 gigahertz. And it can be used as a Wi-Fi extender or repeater as well as an access point, AB. Okay, so now we go to the unboxing. Um, again, as I told you, I've been using this for a while, but I bought it back in the box just to give you some kind of an unboxing experience. This is the device itself. This is a Wi-Fi extender or repeater. As I told you, it comes with four antennas here and two Ethernet cables. One of them you would connect to a router to use this as an, as an access point, and the other one you would use this as a wireless bridge. And we'll explain all this later. So this is the first thing that comes in the box. Let's put it on the side here. This is just a piece of curtain and here we have the user guide. I think the user guide is very important when it comes to this kind of devices. Um, and I like how they arranged everything here in terms um, like a question and answer setup. So it's really easy to understand and it will help you to through the setup process. But I will try to explain everything in this video in terms of how to set it up and connect it and I will show you how to do that. So, okay, so we also get this in the box and this is for the um, reset button here. It's here. So you just push here with this to reset it. So this is in, in the case that you connected it to a network that you don't need it to be connected to anymore or you just, you know, you did something wrong in the settings. You can always factory reset it using this and they, they bought it in the box with it but you can also use your phones or you can cause, like, use like anything else you just need to click here once but you have to have it connected to the um, electricity in order to do that what I like about these antennas is that you can move them so they can like be directed at different places or different areas I really like that a lot um, as you can see it comes with this plastic I'm going to remove it and here we have the WBS button so if your router supports WBS you can just use this button to set it up instead of having to go through the setup that I'm going to show you now. It, even though I believe that this setup is extremely easy. Okay, so, now this will go on any power outlet. You just plug it in. Um, just, just to show you, I'm going to use uh, this power bank here that's a, that has an AC, just to show you. But usually, you're just going to connect this to uh, uh, just an AC outlet. So let's put this in, and let's see what happens. Oh, let me turn it on first. Um, so one of the other things I really like about this is that it only uses 5 watt per hour, which is really good. So it's not going to be con consuming so much electricity. For example, my router here, it uses about almost 20 watt per hour. So this is going to be very easy. It's not going to consume so much electricity or anything. So once we connect it, that's what happens. Power on. Now if we connect an Ethernet cable here that's connected to the Internet, we will see these flashing, either one of them. And once we set it up, these will be lighting in different colors. And I will, I will show you that. But yeah, you just plug it anywhere like that in an, any, any outlet. And it will take the Wi-Fi in from here. And it will take it out from the other side. And the good thing is that you can also change the Wi-Fi name. You can change the password. You can make a Wi-Fi out of another Wi-Fi. Um, let's say you live in a university campus. And they have the Wi-Fi that everyone can use. You can use that and make your own Wi-Fi. Um, hotspot, call it with your name, and it's going to be very strong because of these antennas. So it's going to be even more strong than the Wi-Fi and the campus itself. One other use that I really found uh, to be useful for this is um, using it to get an Ethernet cable. Now, with everyone now working from home because of everything that's going on, my own company wanted me to work using an Ethernet cable because it's more reliable and they wouldn't allow me to use a Wi-Fi device and the computer itself was locked so I cannot connect it to a Wi-Fi device. Now well, that's when something like this comes into play because this can work as a wireless bridge. So this you can connect it to your Wi-Fi or like 
you know, you live in an apartment, for example, where you only have Wi-Fi, you don't have Ethernet, but you really want Ethernet for a device that doesn't have Wi-Fi, or because your work wants you to have Wi-Fi to, I mean, Ethernet to be able to work from home. So this can take the Wi-Fi, and then you can connect an Ethernet cable and get, put it on your computer. This way, your computer is seeing that, you know, it's connected to the router directly, even though it's connecting to this device that's getting the Wi-Fi and turning it into an Ethernet cable. Anyway, so that's basically it. It's very lightweight. Um, it looks very solid. It feels very solid. And, yeah, I showed you here. You just plug it anywhere, basically, and you will see this light go on. And uh, you will, uh, if you read this, you will see that it will show on your Wi-Fi um, networks, on your phone, on your computer, any, anything that has a Wi-Fi network, it will show as, um, I think, Wi-Fi Bro, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, and the last, I think, five or four digits of the number for this device. I'm going to show you this in a second on my laptop, or my, com my, my phone, sorry. Also, we can, you can also use a WBS button here to connect it to your, um, your phone or your uh, your router. So you can use the WBS here to connect it to your router. Anyway, now I'm going to jump into my phone and show you how it works from my phone and how to set it up. So hi everyone again. Now we're going to show you how to set up the Wi-Fi extender or repeater. First of all, you just need to go to the Wi-Fi settings on your phone or your computer, wherever that is. So we're just going to click on the Wi-Fi. It takes me to the Wi-Fi here. Now my network is Tech and Hamon, just like the name of my channel. Um, I'm just close this. Okay, so this is my network. Now, the extender itself is going to be called Wi-Fi 2.5 gigahertz, or we'll also see it in, um, I believe, yeah, the 5G here. So 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz. It doesn't really matter to me in the beginning because we're just going to set it up right now. And these digits are from the code or the, I think, the serial of the device itself. So now let's, let's show how to set it up. Now we're going to the Wi-Fi uh, 2.4 gigahertz here for the other one i don't think it would matter um, i'm just going to go through this one for the sake of setting it up because since i'm not really going to use the internet so it doesn't matter how fast it is now if it says connected without internet that's fine don't don't mess with it it's normal it doesn't have any internet yet um sometimes after now it's connected sometimes it will open up automatically to the page where it will say you know now go and set it up Sometimes it will take it to that page automatically, sometimes it won't. I believe in the first time I connected it, it did take me to that page, but now I think because I'm using it for the second time, it's not taking me anywhere. So I'm just going to go here and open like a normal. See, this is what shows up here on the normal browser. Now, if this doesn't open up automatically, we can just go here and write down 192.168. Point one one, and this is very important. It has to be eleven, not one. Point one. You know your normal router; it's gonna be point one, point one. But this one is point eleven, just to make it different from your router, and you just hit go. It should take you to this page as long as again you are connected to the Wi-Fi from the repeater itself, from the extender. So now uh, this the easy one is uh, AB mode. So I'm just going to show you this quickly. You just hit settings or, or next here, and you can choose. Um, the network, you can name it whatever you want. Um, I can name it Tut Anchamon or Tik Anchamon, and I can call this 5G, give it any password you wish, anything, and hit next. Now, this is only going to work if I had already connected an Ethernet cable to the extender, which I haven't here. So I'm just going to show you. Um, if this was connected, you just hit next here and you're done with the AB mode, the access point. But now let's go back and let's go to the repeater mode. This is where it's going to take the Wi Fi and it's going to repeat it or extend it so it goes farther. You hit next, now it's scanning all the networks around me. Let's give it a second. I have seen also that this is getting a lot of networks that are my normal phone doesn't get. Do you see all these uh, Wi-Fi networks? Let me show you. So if I go to the, my phone Wi-Fi settings, it's not showing me all that. It's just showing me a portion of that. And that's because their beater's Wi-Fi reception is much higher and much better than my phone's. Anyway, you choose your network, like the ones that you're trying to extend. Uh, for here, I'm just going to choose my network, which is Tik and Hamon. Now, if you want to go back, this will take you back. Um, but if you want to do the search again, um, let me show you. So 
this takes me back to the this page. I will choose my network, and it it shows it also says um, what kind of network that is. Now, if I want to search again, I will just click here on the search button. It will look up again. This is just in case you move it around or you plug in the router or something like that, and it didn't show the first time. It will tell you um, how powerful the signal is, and it will also tell you whether it's two point four gigahertz or, or five gigahertz. And you can see mine here is two point four. So I'm just gonna go there, and then I the same um i changed my password for the sake of this video so this isn't really my password um i think it's one two three okay so now i also have the option to change the name um let's call it extender just to show you how this works extender and let's call this extender too now what i did here is that i'm gonna get the internet from Tekankhamun and I give them the password for Tekankhamun and I'm going to call it extender and that's going to have the same password which is Tekankhamun. Now we hit next and now we're done. This is the network that we're expanding from Tekankhamun. We're expanding it to extender 2.5, uh, 2.4 gigahertz ATX-AXT for extender and then 5 gigahertz and the password for that is going to be Tekankhamun. Okay, now we hit finish and we're all set. So let's give it 50, 30 seconds as it says, and now we can go and wait inside the Wi-Fi settings. Now I should get the extender networks. It's connecting me to the Khamon, that's okay. Um, now the extender itself, it's disappeared, you know, the Wi-Fi bro. But the extender one that we just created, it should show up any moment now. And let's just give it 30 seconds as it said, it's gonna be setting it up. And again, you just do this the first time. You don't have to do this every time you use it. You just set this up the first time and you're done. Okay, so here it is. We have extender 2.4 and we have, you should have the other one to extender 5G. Okay, let's go to this one. It asks me for the password. Now we made uh, the password is going to be the same one as the original password, which is this. And let's hit connect. Now, it might show in the beginning that it doesn't have internet or the internet is not available. Um, let's just say, okay, if that happens, because it doesn't know if it's a new, it's a new network. See, when it, if it said that, just, just hit keep Wi-Fi connection. It's connected. It's just because it's a new network, so you don't know that it has internet yet. So let's now go back and go to like Google, for example. And here it is. It's working. Uh, this exclamation mark by the Wi-Fi signal, it's going to disappear soon. Once they realize that it's working, see, now it's gone. And now we are all set. Here's the extender to 1.4 gigahertz. You can connect to the 5. It's everywhere now. It's even going to go further than the original Tech and Hamun I had. And now if I unplug 